So I already know that the large majority of the country has already moved on from this particular subject, but I couldn't not address the astounding level of hypocrisy that Donald Trump and conservatives in this country decided to express over the NFL and particularly their players choosing to take a knee during the national anthem. So, of course, this all started last year when Colin Kaepernick, then quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers, chose to sit down during the national anthem, explaining, quote, I am not going to stand up to show pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of color, adding, to me, this is bigger than football, and it would be selfish on my part to look the other way. There are bodies in the street and people getting paid leave and getting away with murder. So in choosing to take a knee during the national anthem, Colin Kaepernick is protesting institutionalized racism and state-sanctioned brutality against people of color. And I think that in doing that, it's a great way to spread awareness about an issue when you have a lot of eyeballs glued to the television screen. So I, I like that he's doing this and I respect him for doing this. However, to some people, the fact that he dared to disrespect the flag is blasphemous. But if you're against so-called outrage culture and political correctness, then you'd be perfectly fine with Kaepernick's form of peaceful protest. In fact, there's a lot of people in this country that are just fed up with political correctness, and Donald Trump is one of the individuals that vocalized his opposition to political correctness the loudest. We have to stop with political correctness. Here's the problem with political correctness. It takes too long. We don't have time. People don't want political correctness. They're tired of it today. And I think that's one of the things that has resonated with me. To be politically correct just takes too much time. So clearly, by that clip, you know where Donald Trump stands on this particular issue. He's against political correctness. So in doing something like taking a knee during the national anthem, you would think that someone like Donald Trump, who's opposed to PC culture, would have even more respect for Colin Kaepernick, for challenging the beliefs of Americans that currently is politically correct when it comes to the flag and patriotism. However, that's not really the case. Donald Trump was actually triggered by what Colin Kaepernick did, and he expressed that at a recent rally. I'd love to see one of these NFL owners, when somebody disrespects our flag, to say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now, out, he's fired. He's fired! Some owner's gonna do that. He's gonna say, that guy that disrespects our flag, he's fired. And that owner, they don't know it. They don't know it. They're friends of mine, many of them. They don't know it. They'll be the most popular person for a week. They'll be the most popular person in this country because that's a total disrespect of our heritage. That's a total disrespect of everything that we stand for, okay? Everything that we stand for. So it seems to me that Donald Trump is now the triggered little snowflake. It seems like he's the one who's getting outraged too easily over something that shouldn't offend anyone. Kneeling during the national anthem has no impact on your life or my life. He's making a statement to protest our country and an injustice that's been going on for centuries. And what he's doing, it may be politically incorrect, but he's doing it with good intentions. But Donald Trump, someone who rails against PC culture, who has been railing against PC culture for years in this country, all of a sudden, he is part of the outrage police because Colin Kaepernick dared to do something that he finds offensive. Now, to remind you, this is how Donald Trump responded when he was confronted with the Charlottesville protesters when neo-Nazis and white supremacists marched to not just protest the removal of the statute of uh, Robert E. Lee, but to also call for a white ethnostate. This is what he said. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. So Donald Trump bent over backwards to defend neo-Nazis and white supremacists who marched in Charlottesville. But when it comes to the NFL and players who dare to take a knee during the national anthem, Donald Trump literally calls for them to be fired. Do you want to know how many of those protesters in Charlottesville Donald Trump called on to be fired? Zero. So if you are a white nationalist calling for a white ethno state, Donald Trump will 
do everything he can to defend you. And he might even say, hey, some of those people there are very good people. But if you're an NFL player who's speaking out against institutionalized racism, then the president of the United States is going to call you a son of a bitch and call on you to be fired. Do we need any more confirmation that Donald Trump is a racist bigot? Because I think this tells us everything we need to know about Donald Trump. It confirms what we already knew about Donald Trump. He is a racist, bigoted piece of shit. Donald Trump is the quintessential right-wing SJW. Just like students on some college campuses, he wants to shut down the free speech of those he disagrees with. He's just as easily offended by things he doesn't like. But white supremacists and neo-Nazis calling for a white ethnostate doesn't offend him. And he'll actually literally defend them. But when people of color speak up and politely ask to stop being killed, then he gets triggered by that. That's what offends Donald Trump. And understand what he's doing here. Donald Trump is trying to shift the terms of the conversation. Colin Kaepernick initially took a knee during the national anthem to protest state-sanctioned violence and police brutality against people of color. And now Donald Trump is saying that NFL players like Colin Kaepernick, who take a knee during the national anthem, well, they're really protesting the flag. And according to Donald Trump, if you don't support the flag, then you don't support veterans and you hate veterans. Now, he also tweeted, courageous patriots have fought and died for our great American flag. We must honor and respect it. Make America great again. Sports fans should never condone players that do not stand proud for their national anthem or their country. NFL should change policy. Tremendous backlash against the NFL and its players for disrespect of our country. Hashtag stand for our anthem. So again, he is such a big fucking hypocrite. He doesn't think anyone should ever be allowed to get offended when it comes to the injustices in this country against people of color and against the LGBT community. But when it comes to something like this, so supposedly disrespecting the flag, then he gets as triggered as you could possibly get. Now, it's not just Donald Trump because other right-wing SJWs chimed in to support Donald Trump. So he had a former NASCAR driver and team owner, Richard Petty. He actually implied that people who don't stand for the national anthem should be kicked out of the country. I mean, I really don't think that you can get more triggered than that. And of course, one of Donald Trump's friends and fellow right-wing SJW, Alex Jones, chimed in to support Donald Trump. They've gone from four or five years ago one player, Kaepernick, Bozo the Clown, wanting to be a little movie star and wanting to make Hollywood like him, saying whites are racist and whites are bad and America's bad, even though white saviors, as he'd call them, raised him. And even though he's got $200 million, just from the NFL, I looked it up, it's like $200 million from the NFL, estimated $60 million from sponsors. I mean, $260 mil, this is a horrible country! And the predominantly white fans coming and watching you play. And the whites that elected Trump. Screw you, racist! And of course, this is all meant to divide America. It's social engineering by the globalists to make whites racist. No, what whites are is lazy, candy-ass, politically correct trash. Like, there's not much worse in this country than white people. You get to the end of the day. <laughs> They're the ones all saying white people are the devil. They're the ones that came up with this race baiting to make everybody racist. I don't want to give an anti-white rant, but if you want one, I got one because I've been watching who's leading all this. And they're a bunch of sociopaths and I'm sick of them. Okay, first of all, Colin Kaepernick isn't claiming to be the victim here. He's protesting on behalf of victims like Sandra Bland, Freddie Gray, Philando Castile, people who don't have a voice. Since he has a platform, he's using his platform to speak up on their behalf, so he's not claiming to be the victim. Second of all, you right-wing SJWs don't get to rail against political correctness while you simultaneously rail against Colin Kaepernick for not being politically correct because it is extremely fucking hypocritical and it drives me nuts. And finally, the last thing I'll say to Alex Jones is this. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Now, I would be remiss to not tell you about the left-wingers, supposed left-wingers, who are on board with what Donald Trump is saying here. Because last year, even Ruth Bader Ginsburg, a Supreme Court justice who I love and respect, called Kaepernick's protest dumb and disrespectful. And currently, we literally have so-called Democrats echoing the same exact sentiment as Donald Trump here. The owners of these football teams that have these contracts with these players and the conditions these players are going to be playing under has to step in here and say, I'm not going to tolerate it. They can make that deal happen. 
The only thing that you and I can do right now is turn off the TV if you don't want to watch. Don't go to the game if that's a team you don't respect for whatever reason. I think everyone should stand and show respect for the flag that represents the greatest nation on earth that has shed more blood, lost more, lost more lives for the cause of freedom that you and I enjoy. So, you know, I'd prefer people standing. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Now, knowing that they probably look like hypocrites, these right-wing SJWs who get offended at everything decided to walk back some of their statements and clarify why they were so outraged. Really, they're saying that they were outraged because Colin Kaepernick chose to protest while he was working. And since technically he was on the clock and we don't get to protest while we're working, I do, but since most people don't get to protest when they're working, well then it's just not appropriate for him to protest. Now they also want you to forget about the time when they supported Kim Davis and her protest against marriage equality while she was working, when she was literally a government official who refused marriage licenses once the Supreme Court legalized marriage equality. And this is because since Kaepernick did something that offended them, and their feelings matter more than ours, according to them, well then they are completely justified in being outraged here. But I mean, it's not just Donald Trump, he's kind of the poster boy for this typical right-wing SJW view. It's conservatives everywhere. I'm sure that you guys have people on your uh, own Facebook feed who were changing their profile pic to the little I stand during the national anthem banner, which just drives me insane because the hypocrisy just, it blows my mind. And it's because they buy into the idea, the idea that Trump is currently pushing that Colin Kaepernick, you know, in choosing to bend the knee during the national anthem, he is doing it specifically because he doesn't respect the troops. Look, if you truly believe that American soldiers are fighting for your freedom, then you're a hypocrite if you don't acknowledge that that freedom extends to protest of the flag as well. This is about a peaceful form of protest against an injustice against people of color that we should all care about. And someone else took a knee before during the national anthem. And that individual is Martin Luther King Jr., a civil rights icon who I respect perhaps more than anybody in political history. Do they not think that Martin Luther King was justified in kneeling during the national anthem to protest segregation? Or are they against him there too? Or is it because is that okay because he wasn't working? I mean, look, the lengths that these conservatives will go to to justify their hypocrisy while simultaneously railing against the PC police on an everyday basis, it makes me so angry. And look, I'm not saying that there isn't a problem with outrage culture in the United States, but if you're going to rail against political correctness, then you need to be consistent and realize that you might be just as triggered as the people you're criticizing. Because yes, it is the case that if you get triggered and offended by an NFL player who is sitting down during the national anthem, you're part of the problem that you rail against all the time. You are a part of of outrage culture in this country, you are a part of the triggered snowflakes who get offended at everything, who try to shut down free speech and debate in this country. So to all of the conservative and left-wing hypocrites who continue to be appalled when students on college campuses try to shut down free speech of speakers like Ann Coulter or Milo Yiannopoulos, well, you can shut the fuck up now because you've shown that you're a gigantic hypocrite. You're just as outraged and triggered as them. So please, spare me the bullshit. You don't care about free speech. You are just as easily offended for things that you don't like and you're not even able to see the level of hypocrisy that you are exhibiting. So to all the right-wingers like Donald Trump, shut the fuck up because your true colors were especially revealed this week. Support this podcast by becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash humanist report.